I had a gentleman come who remembered me when I was assistant to the mayor, and he came and donated a limited edition of a Booker T. Washington. The gentleman that brought the book, he said to me that there's a quote that he wanted to share with me, that he thought of me. And the quote from Booker T. Washington is, success leaves footprints. Hi, my name is Brenda Simmons. I am the founder and executive director of the Southampton African American Museum, located at 245 North Sea Road in Southampton, which is the first African American site to be historically designated in the village of Southampton and the first black barbershop to be transformed into a museum in the country. We display art from not just local artists, but visiting artists as well. And we have a collaboration with Ma's House in Shinnecock, run by Jeremy Dennis. And what he does is when the residents come there to Ma's House, he always asks them to come visit here. So we have artists come from all over to this museum. Sam works with a lot of organizations. We actually work with the Southampton Historical Museum, the Parish Art Museum, the Southampton Art Center. We do so much collaboration. We literally have an organization called Hans. Hampton Arts Network, and that consists of all of the executive directors of all the surrounding museums. So we really collaborate, we work well, well together, very well together. The permanent exhibit that you would see will be on the upper level. We have two juke joint pictures that was donated from the Southampton African American Museum. We have so many wonderful exhibitions that are permanent on the upper level. The museums like Sam are very, very important because as you know, a lot of the black history is trying to be erased. So it's very, very important for us to tell our story and to make sure that the story is told and being heard by many. As of even today, I had a group of summer campers that came here, young kids, uh, young from six to 11, and they were all white. And this was important to me that I want to emphasize this. The kids that came here took the digital tapestry experience and they were so excited and so engaged. And it was such a wonderful experience and that's exactly which is part of our mission as well, is the educational piece of the black history. What makes Sam a special place? Personally, I have to say what makes Sam a special place for me is because my auntie was the beautician here and I was very engaged in coming here, as I mentioned, to answer the phones for my auntie and write appointments down for her. And also I was assistant to the mayor in the village of Southampton and a letter came across his desk to tear this building down. And so I was very instrumental. I guess I was at the right place at the right time to make sure that this happened. And to make a little joke about it, I went into the mayor and I told him, I will be the person in front of the bulldozer. This is not gonna happen. And then I began to explain to him my connection with this museum. So it's been very, very received also in this community. And that's why it's so important, not just to me, but to a lot of people in this community. When we first started at the Virtue Museum, um, someone asked me, what is black art? And I had to smile and I say, art is art. And so the art that we display is art that is educational, art that is exciting, art that is different. And not only just black artists, but artists that want to really make a difference and really display some sort of history that hasn't been told or seen. Museum is open from tours from Friday to Sunday from 11 to 3, and you would go online and book a tour at www.saamuseum.org.